All right, hi, how you doing, everybody? This is going to be a short little video, <clears throat> basically on on how to make hay. Now, hay is used in feeding the cattle, or for sale also. But the first thing you're going to need to do is to mow. And uh, you're going to have to mow to the point where, um, let me get this open with an X, and then I hit V to lower it, and B to turn it on, and then I'll go to the front mower, I'll lower it, and hit B to turn it on. Oh yeah, first you're going to unfold it with X. Now you hit B. Yeah, that's running. Now the idea here is to get the grass to be cut and laid on the ground. Now you see the dark green? That's the grass that's being mowed. Now if you have a defined, a field that's defined, its, it's edges have been defined, um, the best way to do this is through course play and let your helpers do it because you can't use just a helper on this and do it otherwise it's it's hands-on everything is hands-on now i'm using um the total width of the of the back mowers to to mow the grass and um yeah um this will get kind of boring so i'm going to advance the film a little bit or film <laughs> the recording a little bit and uh we'll get this done right okay see you in a little bit Okay, well, <clears throat> that was that. Um, so the um, the grass has been mowed. I forgot that <clears throat> when I got started on this thing that you know I, how I mentioned you can use a user defined field to do use course play. We can also use a user. You can also use your GPS, which is what I turned on. So once I got the GPS going, I figured out what I was doing wrong and. It did everything right for me. I wasn't doing anything wrong. It was just doing it right for me. Okay, now we got the uh, wind. This is wrong machine here. Yeah. Okay, now this is the tether. Now it'll, what they call, ted the, the, the grass, which is basically turn it so it will dry out. Uh, but it'll, it'll still be grass, so that'll make it hay. Okay? Does that make any sense? In this game, the straw is is what comes out of the back of a machine. Uh, if it went, if 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 I was to bale this right now, it would just be bales of grass. Um, I believe you can still do that if you if you like, um, or you can do what's called tedding, and it'll dry. What it does is spreads the grass out. You'll see here in a second. It'll spread the grass out and turn it. So let's open it up unfold it here and if you notice all these little tines down here that's what it does is picks up the little the, the grass and turns it and um, puts it all out in so the Sun can dry it naturally dry it now remember I told you this was a, a about natural fields uh, over here on the right hand side 
is field number nine, which the map, map maker who made this map, which was Stevie, uh, made this map and he made this all grass. Now you can take any of these fields if you don't want to grow crops on it and, and you need more grass area uh, to do, you know, controlled uh, grass mowing and, and stuff using course play or GPS. Uh, you can use one of these fields and turn it into two grass. It'll, it'll be the same thing. Not sure if the yield is the same as it is what's in the game. It doesn't look like it would be the same, but it sure is a lot easier that way. So anyway, I'm going to turn on GPS again with control zero, control period. I'm going to adjust the work width with A, which has got it all nice and neat there. Now this is, it's not going to be exactly perfect this first one because I was, I was doing it by eye. And my eyes are caught about us anyway, so. <laughs> okay, now we got to make. Uh, turn it to the right. Okay. Right, turn it to the right. We've got that on. Lower it down with V. Turn it on. You see how it twirls around there? Hit speed, cruise, cruise control. And it'll follow that little green little line there. And again, this is not going to match up, but you see how it's turning the grass over? And the grass has changed color. Uh, in real life, it wouldn't be quite like this, but um, I mean, this is a simulation. It's not the real real thing. So basically what it's doing is, is once it's tatted like this, it's telling the game engine, hey, is, we're making hay. Um, so as soon as it's turned over like this, I may run into a problem here with this tree. Maybe not good. Um, otherwise, you'd be you'd be uh, like I said before. You'd just be uh, baling grass, which you can do, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can bale grass and and uh, use it in game. I, personally, I would I would always like rather take my hay and my straw and my. Um, uh, hay straw and grass and put it in in the silos and the only reason being let's see if this turns around on me it's not okay where was I um Personally, I would rather put it in a collection, take it up with a collection wagon rather than making bales. Um, you know, in real life, you don't have the silo that we have in game. You have a silo for your vegetables or your crops that you that you um, that you grow. Um, in game, you have silos that will take anything. So, uh, in game, personally. I think it's a waste of time to make bales. I'm going to show you how to make bales with this. It's, you know, I think we all know how to make bales in this game. It's pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, getting really exciting here also. So I'll speed it up just a little bit, and I'll see you here in a little bit. I hope. I hope you're still with me.
Okay, so now our, our hay, our grass is, uh, is tedded. Now what we need to do is put it into rows so the uh, baler will pick, pick, pick that up or the collection wagon also, either one, either one you choose to use. So now, now it is, it is hay right now. So all you have to do is run that over there and it's hay. So we're going to go ahead and windrow it. And again, it's going to look a little weird here. I'm going to um, open that up. First time I ever saw this machine work was in 2013, uh, Farm Simulator 2013. And I was just amazed by this machine. I still, to this very date, I still love this machine for some reason. But I'm weird like that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So we're going to hit, and we're going to try to do this with uh, GPS also. And so we go to do that, get the width down right. We're going to go up and down the field. We're going to go to the right. Turn on our GPS. Uh, turn that on. Turn cruise control on, and off we go. And I'm sure you. I'm sure you guys have used this. This is uh, this is what the wind rower. This is what takes the width of the of the machine itself, the wind rower itself, and brings all the grass or the straw, the hay, uh, into the middle to to a point where the baler and or the collection wagon can pick it up. It's uh, my favorite machine. Um, you can tell everybody about that. That's Jim's favorite machine, the wind rower. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go fast forward here. Come back. It'll be quick. Okay, so now we have, we've mowed the grass, we've tetted it, I'm stuck in the wind rower. <laughs> I got stuck in the wind rower there. Only me. Yeah, let's see if I can do it again. No, I can't. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we've tetted it with this machine, with the tetter right here. So now it's ready to be picked up. Now, again, like I said before, you can use the baler or you can use the collection wagon. Personally, I prefer, I used to do it the, the old way. I used to be adamant about doing bales. And and, uh, and then I decided, well, that's just, too, it takes too much time to do both of them. You know, in real world, you're not doing it every day anyway. Or, you know, every other day or whatever, you're not doing it. So, you know, it's it's completely different in the real world. You're not making them as often as you do in this game. That's why I say collection is better. Plus, you also have the uh, the silos that, that hold everything, not just your crops that you grow. But I'm going to show you this baler anyway. So we'll unfold this bit, bad boy. Uh, we will drop down the front. We'll turn it on. Now, I'm not going to use the GPS on this because I think it would mess it up. So here we go, folks. You can see it's got hay in it. Hey. So now, as you're doing this, just to let you know, if you have a field that is defined by the map maker, like this one is, like field 9 is, uh, or if you know how to define the field size itself, like this one has has some extra room to it to the other to the sides, and if all those trees were out of there, if I, if I bailed or if I cut grass all the time, I would probably take those trees out and make a user-defined field. And basically, what that does is tells 
and I'm talking course play here. So if you make that kind of have a user defined field, you can use course play. If you use course play, you not only can can uh, do the cutting, the tedding, and the windrowing all by itself, but you can also do bales, fully automatic, fully automatic. And you can also pick up the bale through the field and take them to your farm and unload them wherever you want them unloaded. All automatic. Um, that's all through course play. Uh, so you can all actually set this going and uh, have, have it all, all automated. And uh, it works real nice. I've done it before. Like I said, um, in, in, in actually in Farming Simulator 2015, I used to do it. Um, so yeah, that's that's all there is to this. Now we're making bales, and um, again, if you use course play, completely automated. You don't have to do anything except, except take the tractors there and and uh, get them started, and that's it. Then you can go feed the animals, drink a beer, well, drink some milk. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, or you can uh, do it yourself if, if you're so inclined I mean with seasons I imagine with seasons you'd be able to do it you do the bales all by yourself and everything um, I think this has the function where I can unload the baler Do, 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 do. Let's see. I don't know if, I don't know if control I. No, nope, it's not control I. Well, I guess we won't do it with this one. See how that one bale is sitting there? Well, there's a way to get that out of there, and I'm not really sure how to do it. Oh, I probably let's see it's on now. It's off. I mean, unload baler. Why? There you go. All right, I knew that. See, that's going to drive me crazy. See, this is another reason why I don't I don't cut grass like this, and and collect everything. I get really really picky about the way my fields look and I don't like them junky at the ends and see you'll see there see down here there's uh, there's junk everywhere like right in through here well this is gonna drive me crazy for a while until I actually go through here and completely take it up myself with this collection wagon but <laughs> I'm not gonna put you all through that so let's lower down the front we'll turn her on this is a collection wagon this is something I use all the time uh, when I'm doing straw. Uh, oh, my Alexa just went off for some reason. So now we're collecting through this. Again, you can use course play to set this up to where to the point where it's uh, completely automatic. It's so easy with course play. I'm such a I'm such a course play. Uh, fanatic that uh, I, I do everything with with course play. I do I, I I do everything with course play with this with this this uh, thing. I seed with it. I harvest with it. I uh, fertilize the fields with it. I do everything with course play. Um, and then if I don't have that, can't use that function. If I can't use course play, uh, which there's not much you can't use with course play anymore with the new new additions and everything. Um, you know, like like this, I can use I can I can have this go and automate it to, to where it automatically goes back to the silo and unloads. I don't have to do anything with this or the wind rower. So uh, yeah, silo is the best way to go, or a, um, a course play is the best way to go, as far as I'm concerned. I've been sold on course play for as long as I can remember. Um, And course play, you can just do do just about anything with course play as far as uh, um, 
as the game goes on anyway. Well, anyway, you're getting the idea of how this goes. Uh, I'm rambling here a little bit. Um, I'm giving you my ideas on how, how this works. I mean, it's really simple. It's a lab, little bit labor intensive, um, making bales and, and of, of hay and um, even you do the same process with uh, straw or making grass, like I was saying. Uh, making grass, you just don't tet it, uh, just windrow it and then pick it up by your choice. Um, straw you just do in the field after you harvest wheat and barley. I think it's just wheat and barley you can make straw on. I may be wrong. I have been before. Uh, but now that you mention it, I just remember that I'm getting low on straw, so I'm going to have to make straw this time. So uh, thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it. I hope it's helped somebody out out there. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, thumbs up and subscribe if you like. Um, we have fun here on this channel when I can get out here and make a video and get back into doing my live streams again. So, uh, until then, take care. We'll see you guys later. See ya.